This is Wichita, Wichita, Kansas, home of the Eisenhower Presidential Library Museum. Uh, obviously a lot of people uh, here to see it. This is it right here, uh, the Eisenhower Museum. These, uh, these artifacts belong to Ike and uh, you can come here to the airport and visit them. Uh, they also have a concession stand uh, right here. And uh, while you're here, paying your respect to the proudest thing I can claim is that I am from Abilene. So there you go. Fascinating. All right, here we go again. We're looking for room 169. I'm early on the first floor. And uh, 69 I get every now and then, but we're early on this floor. All right, here we go. This is the Hilton. All right. Ooh, looks like a dump. I can tell already. And of course, one light. So you gotta walk around like a jerk and turn on the other hundred lights. It's ridiculous. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. All right, I turned on the lights. I'm having company today. Uh, that's you, the viewers. <clears throat> Excuse me for my voice. Uh, odd bed. I've been in this room basically before. I guess they do the same. Obviously, they have the same layout. Last time, it was the one where we went to Mark Twain's grave, Big Flats, New York, Horsehead. <clears throat> the room looked almost exactly like this, except the TV was on that side. For those of you who are fans and watch every episode. First floor, you know the view is going to be fantastic. And that's the casino, believe it or not. And uh, first floor, most likely to be have your room broken and entered. All right, I'm going to go meet uh, Matt and Johnny for some chow. Yeah. There's, there's Johnny. Some there's Matt. Yeah. And uh, this is the wood fire grill. And uh, they gave us $100 in comps. And, and apparently Vixen, who's sitting next to us. Those fancy restaurants don't have a back of the menu. That's right. One taste. This is what you get. That's all you need. And uh, it's like, it's like uh, uh, in and out Burgers. Yes, it's simple like choice. Things. <laughs> Johnny and I are both going to have a shrimp cocktail and a steak. With Chilean sea bass and house the greens. Green. All right. Then we should see if the Vixen girls left anything on the table because nip, nipple that. Matt and I are side sitting. Yeah. It's very romantic. Don't tell. We got a, we got a fireside. Fireside, yeah, and Oprah's too. Very beautiful. So this is going to be a very enchanting, exquisite uh, dinner. And again, if, if you're not scoring at home, they give you four twenty-five-dollar vouchers. I'm not really trying to steal mine. You can use these however you like. We say might as well have a nice meal. <laughs> And enjoy them. And Took so that's rain. what we're going to do. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, boy. Those Burbank Swifties. So, richest guys at table trying to steal my vouchers. I did. And then he blamed you. Yes, Slide of hand. It was, it was an accidental steal. Yeah. yeah. All the same the kitchen trip. Eric's having his on a, on a bun, but uh, how nice. The, right behind that door is the Slaughter of Family Dinner. How many kids are There's like 20, and it looks like the scene in Star Wars where Darth Vader's at the end, and he's going to uh, land up Calrissian, and they're going to turn in uh, Han Solo in the Cloud City. Wow. Uh, you think Dana would sit at the, ta at the head of the table, but no. All the guys from Slaughter sit on the right, and then there's a few women uh, on the left, mm -hmm. and then their crew. Good night. And, uh, yeah. But anyway, that's the, the Slaughter dinner. I went in, and I heard every story you could think of. I can tell you anything you want to know about the Ozzy Osbourne auditions. Oh, I know, I, yeah. You got all that one more meeting. All, all of it, yeah. Of course, I can't tell it on my show. You know, uh, he's giving away stories. So is this, was this post Parkinson's disease? Or? You know, he's telling me they are like Randy Rhodes. Oh. You know, he got Randy Rhodes. Hey, well, yeah, well, thank you very much. So far, is everything looking tasty? Yeah, yeah. yeah oh. thank you, Nicole. Appreciate it. Johnny is saying that this hotel reminds me of another one we said where there was an ice cream place across the street. I remember the place, not the city. But uh, I don't think there's anything around here. I think these casinos don't want you to leave. You can check in, but you can't check out. Isn't that the Roach Motel? I don't think there's anything for a million miles of this place. It's beautiful this time of year. And uh, there's that. And we're staying right here. You can walk to the venue. It would, you have to be really stupid to screw that up. It's Friday the 13th here at the uh, hotel. 
Well, by the way, don't put your shoes on the bed. Unless it's not your bed. Now look, if you guys are watching, that's Dudley from Different Strokes. Did you guys know that Dudley uh, uh, had an interaction with Jason Voorhees? Oh, oh now Dudley had a problem in the past with Gordon Jump from WKRP in Cincinnati. He got him in a bathtub and tried to take uh, 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 dirty photos. Jason doesn't want to take dirty photos. He just wants to mutilate him. And you see Jason uh, has his hockey mask. He got it in part uh, three. Now I'm screwing up my Jason history. Oh, don't you hate when someone falls on a, a bed of spikes? This is a, a new beginning, part five. I don't think this one was uh, great, but I don't know. Can't, it's hard to remember. They're all better than Jason X. Another fucking spike, uh, a bed with nails. They're everywhere, especially in these movies. People fall right through them. It's, it's a horrible uh, problem. You can see my room is a mess. I can't figure out how, when I'm on the road, uh, I'm always packing. I got shit everywhere. We're here for less than a day. I don't know how, I mean, two days, I don't know. I might have had an edible. Um, but anyway, it's, it's the insulin station. All right, I better, I better get in bed. How did I think about it? This is one of the ones, maybe where it's a fake Jason or Tommy Jarvis over here puts on the mask. I don't remember who, maybe not. I don't know, there's one where there's a fake Jason, a copycat and, you know, there's only really one Jason, but which is me. That's why I'm going to lay down. All right. Good morning. I'm going to try to document uh, this day. It's seven thirty in the morning. Thinking about going down for breakfast, so we'll uh, we'll go from there. Seven thirty a.m. right now, and uh, we're in Mulvane, Kansas. And fortunately, at this place, the hotel is connected to the casino. The place is called the Desert Star Arena. I don't think it's an actual full arena, but that's the name. Um, what I like about these gigs is you can walk back and forth as many times as you want. You're not depending on ground transportation. And a sound check is 10 a.m. And I've explained it before on the show, but um, the headliner goes backwards. So, so Stephen Piercy starts first sound check. So sound check tonight, today, is at 10 a.m. Stephen is 10 to noon. They serve lunch. After Steven is Great White, and then after Great White is Slaughter, and then Vix sound checks last because their stuff will be set up when they go on first. And it's easy to rest at shows like this because you, uh, after sound check, come take a nap and you're so close to the venue um, that it makes for an easier day. But as a tour manager, um, there's other things to do. Set up the merchandise. You know, we have a ton of uh, new merchandise being added today. So you have to set that up, count it in, make sure you count it out, make sure they have everything. Um, these casinos treat you good. We had vouchers, $100 in food vouchers. We were able to go to a nice steakhouse last night on my way to check out breakfast. And then from there, I'll probably lay around a little while. Um, I wish they were all like this. If every gig was like this, it would be great. The only problem is it ain't easy to get to Mulvane, Kansas. We didn't have any flight delays yesterday, thank God. It still was five hours, uh, roughly, in the air not including the, the rest. So anyway, that's how the day's starting. So it starts with breakfast, which is the most important meal of the day that I almost never eat. So, okay. I forgot to mention that before I go to breakfast, I have to shoot my insulin uh, because uh, I have to do that 15 minutes before I eat. I'm trying to be better on my blood sugar. So I'm gonna do that right now. There's the works. All right, check in soon. I have a feeling it's going to be uh, very cold out. I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt. Whoa, Arctic chill. But uh, I wanted to come out and look around at some of the sights, <laughs> which are, there are none. Had a nice breakfast with Matt Thorne and Jeff uh, Colin. I don't know if it's Colin or Colin, but Jeff uh, tour manages Slaughter and uh, also works with Vince Neal as well. And so we had a nice breakfast. I was surprised we sat there for a while, didn't see many other people. Michael already from Great White, I think, walked by, but didn't see any other um, uh, the people on this tour. But it's early, as I said, uh, Scott Coogan's going to work on the drums at 9.30 in the morning, which is a few minutes from now. And uh, 
we'll go in there and try to sound check at 10. Well, I don't know if these doors are actually going to be open, but we'll find out. Uh, arena level sections one through 15. Let's see. Uh, as you can see, here's the merch area. And then, I hope there's going to be some people here. We'll see if Scott Coogan's actually early setting up his drums, but uh, let's take a look. Oh, it looks great. And th those drums uh, look set. Yeah, this is cool. Small arena, but it's bigger than what was sold to me. This should be a fun night. I wish they all were like this. Walk to your room into a nice uh, old school arena rock setting. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Nice to see you. You don't mind being in my video, do you, Stephanie? No, you're good, you're good. All right, good. We, I like to document. Uh, Stephanie is nice enough to show us the green rooms. So that's where we're going to look. Oh, green room one. That way you guys yeah, go. very nice. The okay. carpet's drying, I see. Yeah, perfect. Nothing but the finest. All right, cool. So we'll be in here. Yes, you will. And then uh, great lights next door. Yes, and then you do have the controlling door. So if you just wanted to close it and not, you know, yeah, get yeah. them, then you're more than welcome to do so. We'll never see those guys. <laughs> and then where did you put Slaughter and Great White? Uh, great White will be right next I mean, uh, Vixen. Vixen are going to be the two suites up there, right when it does the pedal stairs. Nice, okay. Just trying to get them something a little bit. This uh, uh, bullshit music you're hearing is probably copyrighted. Uh, I should point out that the front of house engineers play this music so they can get an idea of the sound. And I guess this is his go-to uh, jam. Sounds like shit to me, but uh, what do I know? Let's take a look from the stage and hope that this isn't copyrighted. You can see all the other drum sets. Every band has their own drum set and it has their own drum riser. The good things about these gigs is everything you need is pretty much here. The casinos have everything at their disposal and uh, if you need to have set lists printed and things that normally uh, you have to go run errands or find somebody to help uh, at a place like this, everything is here. You also know that your green room is going to be stocked and catering and everything's nice. You like to play these places uh, every day if you could. You know, just so, And I guess back in the day, these are the kind of places that people would have toured. So there. This is the merch. And uh, two suitcases worth. Maybe too much. It's an arena, so uh, depending on how full it is, though, this is a lot of t shirts and other things. So you want to make sure you sell as much of it as possible, make these bags lighter for the way home. So, anyway, the band is starting sound check. I'm getting this ready. It's uh, about 11 now. We need to be out by 12 so the Great White can start their sound check. It's hard when you're the first band because if the house is behind, you uh, can get blamed when it wasn't your fault. They just didn't have things ready. The key to selling merch is to have a good display and have people who know what they're doing. Uh, a lot of times, uh, in clubs at least, you get Cousin Shirley or Uncle Elmer and uh, they've never done it before and it can suck so you can see here this place is set up to move some merch and uh, we probably have the most all right so sound check is over uh, and we kind of made it right on time it was supposed to be 10 to 12 and then great white I think we went a couple minutes over not the band's fault but uh, sometimes these places when you're first especially they're not completely set up so it's now 12 30. I have nothing to do until 5 p.m. when we count in the merchandise. That's at 5. Then I go back to my room and rest, maybe have dinner. Then 8 o'clock, 
uh, Vixen starts and they play 30 minutes and there's a little break and then Slaughter plays 40 minutes, Great White plays 50 minutes, Stephen Piercy plays 60 minutes, it'll be midnight. By the time the meet and greet gets done, if anyone's watching and wants to send me glasses that aren't crooked, I know spectacle eyewear, uh, I try to help, but I don't know what happened. But anyway, uh, so the meet and greet might be going until say uh, one in the morning. So it's gonna be a long night and then uh, we get up around uh, 5 a.m. I would say, maybe a little early, maybe 4.30 for a uh, uh, flight, 7. 30 flight so anyway you're getting a full day in the life this is a full a day in the life it's not very exciting but it's not bad either there's way worse things you could do i mean i have a whole day unfortunately like i said there's absolutely nothing to do here uh, but i have a whole full day of it anyway we'll check in at, at, at five probably johnny wasn't sure what to order so what he does is he goes over to water's table and he looks and sees what they're ordering. And he checks each person's thing. He thinks that most people just order what Dana's having. And Eric is busy. Uh, Eric's working, but the rest of us. Uh, Eric's ready to order it. He's, he's probably tired of us pussyfooting. All right, we just had uh, lunch. I, I, I said that I was going to keep updating everybody. So we had lunch. Matt, how was lunch? Lunch was very good. There's a lot of people at the sound console. It's really Matt cheated on his uh, diet and he had tater tots. <laughs> like, I did what my doctor told me and shot my insulin early. The problem is I forgot it and then I was dying. But, did you uh, see how many people are at this console? There's a lot. Yeah, what are they all doing? I don't know. They got all they're living in. Union? Maybe Union then? <laughs> There's Slaughter. Where, where, where is Vixen? Have they sound checked yet? There's a Slaughter. There's That's what I was thinking. <laughs> is it who? There's a big banner up there. Are you playing in front of that? No, yeah, he'll flip. If that is not going to be good. No, I make him lower it. But uh, when's the last time you played in a real like that? I'm going to say 1986. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. Yeah. yeah. You're home. Well, there you go. I expect at least 30 people here. <laughs> yeah, well, that's going to be interesting. Oh, what about these seats? <laughs> oh, we have a crane. These are, oh, yeah, that's nice. We, there hasn't been a gig we played where they can actually pull a crane. These are VIPs over here behind the stage. Obstru that's obstructed view. Obstructed view so seating. There's many VIPs that they need to access. Mm -hmm. Probably seats about a thousand VIPs. Played the national anthem before. I think this one's done. Florida and Vixen's dress rooms are up there. The one where the whole thing is. Bigger. Bigger than this? Bigger than this. I walked to the top and it, it took a while. Now, when you I'd like to see what Matt is saying. Yes, Matt has a Matt, what is that? Thank you, thank you. Here you go. What is that? I got a couple for you, Matt. Anthology. Oh, you got a couple. Oh, Rough <laughs> Cut Anthology. Here. Does Steven know that I'm signing his, over his face? <laughs> I don't think he knows. He already, he already signed, so it's all good. Okay. Just sucking. <laughs> good. All right, so here's the question. Yes. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes. You were a co-writer on this album. I was on... Is it Back uh, for More, right? Back for yeah. More and Morning After. Yes. <clears throat> would you mind yeah, signing it back here by the songs? I think that Which would be really cool. I think that's the right move. Back of the bus. And here's one for you. Oh, yeah. This is... this. I did two or one or two songs on this one. With <clears throat> the band... Trapped. Traps. Yep. Lost in them. Yep. 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 Oh, so if you wouldn't mind signing maybe right no, here. Oh, that's why. Cool. That's that's it. Which one is it? It's the Lost, Lost in the, in the Portrait. That's right. Yeah. No, the That's right. Awesome. awesome. See, now he wants in on this action. <laughs> oh, okay. Might as well. You know, I made the point that at some point you guys aren't going to see any of us anymore. You know, how many more years can this happen? I don't know. I think more stuff. You'll comes see pop special thanks down here of me. Uh, Way Put a highlight underneath here. it. There you go. I, it's my name spelled wrong. It's see it? about. I'm going to look. Mark Turian claims, claims credit writing songs. Uh, Steven, Steven says his is bullshit, but he says that Matt's is correct. Yeah. Well, obviously. They're yeah. on good terms. They still yeah. play together. No, I didn't do But that. who else? Um, well, I do know about Rob Lamont. Yeah. And that was a yeah. definite Rob deal. Rob was uh, seen in the crime. His secret Service, right? Well, it was actually Mac 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 Well, Mac Mina, yeah. That's right. Joey Christofinelli. We right. talked about him earlier. Right. Right. There it is. You found me. Yep, yep. yep. Uh, Spell okay. I'm gonna put, put a black line underneath that for me, just so we know. 
Yeah, spelled without an E. There you go. It's, it's not even Thor with two R's. No, I mean, no, this is before but, Wendy invented that name, but, you know, too. But yeah. the problem was... We're up jailhouse. Years old. I didn't even know what that this meant. This is a jailhouse thing, but he's going to sign a man, Thor. Thor. And, and now you know, your pocketbook knows. His signature yeah. doesn't look like it says Thor or Thor. Yeah, probably. There's a story on this, Matt. 2016, yeah. met Simon what? Daniels, a.k.a. Oh, Danny yeah. Simon. Yeah, yeah. He signed it as Danny Simon. Yeah. You're listed as Matt Thor, so you signed it as Matt Thor. I don't even think it makes a difference. I said your signature was Thor. It just scribbles. At the end, yeah. so I was probably, there's no, there's no and difference. What's the difference right? it's like it just does that, and then it ends. That's perfect. Because I can't, I can't see what I'm writing anymore <laughs> for one reason. <laughs> All right. Well, we so all right. Yeah. We're all in that same what boat. What do we have? Kind of like a oh, wow. Look at that. We're all in the same boat. Was That's fun. Sharpie, Matt? That's from, oh, yeah. Yeah. This Sorry. is from Lawton, Lawton Oklahoma at the Apache Show. I think oh, I got the blue. Wow. Yeah, blue. And Not too many lights. Matt's the so, cinematographer now. I'm going to. Uh, it's usually me <laughs> filming Matt signing. Zoom in. in the world this. of a rough cut. Jason signing a picture with Johnny and his long hair and himself. Johnny is very reclusive today. He's this on stage is, coaching there it is. Slaughter. There it is. We're going to blow it up. It's a collector's item. There it is. You can't say blow it up anymore. <laughs> oh, oops, sorry. Oh, yeah. Delete. It's 5.45 p.m. now. I'm still here. We had a little lunch, but I'm still here. The Vixen sound checking uh, behind me. Uh, going to try to get some more things done. Just got the merch set up. And, uh, yeah, 5.45. The show starts at 8. It's going to be a long night. All right, this is Vixen's sound check. My interview with Britt Lightman. Uh, just uh, air, and people love it. There she is right there. And uh, everybody else, Julia. And Roxy and Lorraine. It's almost doors, about 90 minutes to doors. And you can see the merchandising uh, being put together now. It's coming along nicely. And you have uh, Vixen here on the left. And then you have uh, Slaughter. And Gray White doesn't have that much, but they have a shirt. And then and you see Christy organizing. This even appears to be All right, it's uh, 7.40, I just got back. Merch is booming. The merch stand is booming. People lined up to get in. I will tell you the security is a little lackadaisical. I just walked in a side door. Uh, no one said anything to me. I am wearing a pass but that didn't completely matter. Uh, let's take a look and see what the crowd is like. 20 minutes to showtime. This is a long night of music. Uh, I'll be interested to see, what is this line for? Oh, cocktails. But I'll be interested to see how many people are gonna be here. It is early. And uh, I see some people. You might think it looks empty, but uh, I like to think of it as uh, uh, half full. All right, let's let's uh, let's head to the back and see what's going on.
pre show. Johnny cut Scott's hair. And uh, everyone figuring out the <laughs> Everyone figuring out uh, what they're going to order for the pre show. Great White on stage. All right, it's 10 30 now. Great White is playing Mr. Bone. Slaughter went over by 11 minutes. They do that a lot. Ray White is trying to make up the time that they went over. I'm on my way to meet Steven by the elevators so security can drive him around the block to come in backstage. The goal is to keep Steven in the building as little as possible. Get him in, get him on stage, get out. So that's where we're at right now. You guys having a good time so far? I mean, come on, Slaughter, Vixen, Great White, come on, man. And some rat roll thrown in there. How the fuck are you guys good? And just like that, after midnight, and the party's over. And this is what happens uh, when the party's over. Turn out the lights. A lot of work. People have been here all day. Thank you. People have been here all day. The problem with being the last band of the night is you, uh, you're here. You sound check at 10 in the morning. And then you go, you leave uh, after 12.30. And it, lobby calls 5.30 a.m. to catch a flight that boards at 7.08. So if you ever dreamed about being on the road. Slaughter usually <clears throat> has some good candy on their rider. It's all the way up there. They kept, yeah, that, that's where they got ready. Leave that there, we'll go look. Vixen was up here too. They, they had Mr. Goodbar, yeah, that's right. I like Crackle. I like Crackle. I think some people around here might be on Crackle. On the Crackle. Mark's probably in a sugar coma laying his bed with wrappers all over his face right now. You know, all. Uh -huh. There better be some candy. I don't know how you get in these rooms, but. Uh oh. This is going to be so much fun. Oh! Oh, look at that cake! Look at the yeah, what? There's candy everywhere. Yeah, look. Here's Mr. Goodbar. The patrol. It is patrol. Who's in this room? Fuck you. Albert Rigby? Look at this thing. Oh, God, it's a fucking cake. Eat it with their hands and loft it like that? That's a walnut triple decker. What is all this that they left? These people starving. Yeah, pigs. This is a side of something, Johnny. What do you think's in here? There's 10 of them. Probably vegetables. Slaughter is in vegetables. Is Fries. There's about ten of those. Okay, right. They they kind of went hard on the candy though. Why would there only be a couple pieces? They ate all the candy. Oh, yeah. They didn't leave much. They drink a whole bottle of Patron. I think those guys are alcoholics. <laughs> <laughs> There's more booze in the refrigerator. There's a whole another bottle in here. Look, Johnny. Right there. There's a whole bottle of something. Wine, maybe. Kendall Jackson, you Bobby Watts are like used to ask for that. I never drink at all on these shows. Look at it, it's just all power. That's bobbing for apples, Johnny. You want to try it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where's all the 
Well, when we were kids and they had bobbing for apples, I didn't think that was a very uh, cleanly thing. No, I had enough candy. You want to see what Vixen has? Maybe those broads have, they drink way more. They have a lot of booze, man. Yeah. yeah. They locked it up, you know how the ladies are. <laughs> they took it off. Yeah, it, they, they, have, they went heavy on the ham, too. I'm surprised the doors are still Is there anything in here? No, I think those girls take it all back. Yeah, no, they could take it all, all of it. <laughs> they ate all my ham, too. They didn't get a cake like uh They could eat those girls. Yeah. They ate all the lunch meat. Yeah. And they took all their booze. This looks like something. Mm hmm. Looks like an uh, uh, out, outer labia. <laughs> <laughs> Majora. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we tried. Stuff yeah, I did too. Yeah. The cake was a little. Yeah. All right. Well, let's take the twenty-mile walk down. Did we come up this way? Yeah, yeah I think so. Wow. I don't remember that. We were having all those hijinks, and in that time, my blood sugar reached. Um, 58, way too low. So I have to eat these jelly beans <laughs> that I have in my pocket. All right, well, it's 113, 119. I hate to bother people with my diabetes talk because I know it's not for everybody, but uh, I, uh, <clears throat> my blood is at 58, very low. And the thing, my, there's an alarm on my phone that just goes crazy when you get that low. Uh, Michelle gave me these jelly beans for Easter egg, and uh, he has risen. So I'm gonna try to fix my blood in the name of the Father, Ghost, and the Holy Spirit. A long fucking night. I don't think there was much that was fun, um, you know, for the viewer, but. Anyway, thank you for being with me while I battle to death via uh, diabetes. 5.30 in the morning and all these fans going to, uh, to the airport. Slaughter, great white, and uh, Stephen Piercy, and everybody. So, Another one of those uh, days. 5:30 a.m. Handicap band members. Look at look at look at these. Uh, only here to slow. They have to walk up their own escalator. So this plane has three members of Vixen. Two members of Great White. Johnny, you know what song this is? From a movie. This is. Uh, it's a Chicago band. This is Carpenters. This is not the song they're Survivor? best known for. It is Survivor. It's Burning Heart from Rocky IV. Oh, right. What made them play that in the airport today? They have to hike these stairs. That's what made them play it. Did yeah, you do that? It's a little crazy. But uh, uh, I think they had two two members of Slaughter. The original members. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, look at all these people. There's the Vixens, and that's uh, life on the road. Exactly. You wanted to you know, see it. Uh, one person did not check their bags. Uh, if you watch this show, you know why that person is me. You know why it comes in handy not to check your bag. Okay. Normally, note that oxygen is flowing even if the bag is not asleep. Be sure to adjust your own mask before helping others. Okay. They shouldn't, uh, they shouldn't bring kids sometimes. They shouldn't let kids sometimes. If needed, seek they don't want to be here. Use for to use help to move the bottom cushion. When you exit the aircraft, hold the cushion to your chest with the straps facing away. Put your arms through the straps and hold your wrist. If that life vests are located in a rear or right bin, identified with a placard. Refer to the safety information. They should get some brandy. Yeah, for the kids. Back in uh, mid-1990, 
Minneapolis. We're in Minneapolis a lot. And uh, we're going to the G Gate. Looks like a lot of the other people are going there as well. That was a rough flight. Not done yet. Okay, it's Sunday now, right? Sun Sunday morning. Uh, sitting around. Almost home. Another three hour flight. Ready to do it all again. Hopefully you enjoy it. Look at Everywhere we go, we get people meeting each other. Yeah, it's exhausting. It's exhausting. It's too much to know each other. They're gonna sit, they're gonna be on this flight for a couple hours, but they're never gonna see each other again. Yeah. Why do you gotta ask all those questions? Yeah. I mean, it's really the connection here is obnoxious and pretentious and loud and rude, and it's always next to me and Johnny. Always. Fuck off. And, uh, and who knows what's going to happen here. I mean, 